When I came here and I talked with Maram and with Daniel, who are the teenagers that are going to be telling their stories this weekend, you know, we had a brief but intense conversation. And afterwards, Patrick, who's the director of the museum here, turned to me and he said, the refugee crisis is on the front page of the Swedish newspaper pretty much every day. Either stories about Syria or stories about the crossing or stories about refugees' lives here in Sweden. He was like, and yet the one hour conversation that I had with these two kids has helped me understand a world more than anything that I've read in the newspaper for the last few years. And I was like, yes, okay, this is why stories are important. I would like to share with you my story today because I want you to first know exactly what is happening for people who are living in war and secondly for those who are traveling around to get safely. And I share it because it is a story about how to find the courage to make changes that you need and you want in your life, even when it seems too difficult, and how to not give up. So I share my story in hopes that it will help you. I think that Daniel and Maram's story has the potential to change the world. I think what's going on right now in the refugee crisis around the world is that people are being dehumanized, they're being labeled as other, and this is so damaging to both our spirits and also to the policies that we're creating. We're creating such backwards political policies around refugees, and we are not taking into account the human story of the people who these policies are affecting. Jag kommer från ett land där där är krig i 35 år och uh, jag kommer från ett land där där är svårt att utbilda sig där är svårt att utveckla sig. Det finns fördomar mot de nya allända. Jag vill att med min berättelse få få att få, få människor förstå vår situation och ge en bild. Vad har vi gått igenom? Det finns, det finns ingen som frivilliga, frivilliga lämnar sitt hemland, lämnar familjer och tar väg. Och riskerar den väg som kommer man. Skisenas Museum, Swoon and the Million Person Project came together to really put together this project around refugee stories and around changing the narrative that Swedish people and people all around the world have of refugees. And so what this is, it's a storytelling project that is working with two young people, Maram and Daniel, from Afghanistan and Syria to support them in telling their truest personal story and to getting their message out to the world so that people can understand the human story of these young people that are coming to Sweden, as opposed to the oppressive, judgmental narrative that's being put on them by the media and by the politicians. For me, when I chose this image, um, I interviewed mom, I met her and talked to her. And when I thought about what kind of an image do I want to portray of her, you know, and I drew different versions of her looking serious and looking different ways. And when I hit upon this image of her laughing, I just thought this feels so much more about what's happening now in her life and about the fact that she has had a safe place to land and she's now creating a new life here. And I feel like representing people in that moment of comfort and joy has a way of sharing each other's humanity in a way that's, you know, sometimes less frightening than seeing each other in their pain. I would like to, to leave you with a quote that really inspires me. And it's, without pleading, there will be no light that will come into our souls. Thank you. <laughs>